Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you are in the world. I hope you're having a phenomenal day so far, and welcome to a slightly belated start to our Stellaris Sunday on our community night. We'll be going to be playing Stellaris with the community, as well as some Victoria 3 a little bit later on, and I think some golf with your friends in between. So if you want to uh, get involved in any of our games, just head on over to the Discord at discord.gg slash I'm a flanker, or check out the links down below. So without further ado, I think we're going to get ourselves underway. Let's uh, get ourselves set to slowest to start with, and we'll grab everyone into voice. There we go. I think that is now everyone in, and we're underway. Hello, Sir Flanker. Hello. No, Flanker, do not talk. When you talk, my headset vibrates. It's rather painful. That's interesting. You could, you need to turn him down, I assume? There we go. I've dropped him to 40% from 100. <laughs> what were you using my voice to vibrate, Russ? I'm just asking. Lewd. <laughs> <laughs> Inappropriate flanker, Jeez. Isn't that the only reason anyone listens to Flanker's stream? That... <laughs> People listen to Flanker's stream? Well, they sure as hell don't watch it. Oh, what? Man, one, I was wondering why one of my rulers looked like a weird bug, but apparently he got transformed by the Shroud Tunnel. Shroud shenanigans. Shroudcraft? Yeah, that works better than what I tried to say. Also, what on earth was I doing at the end of last session? I've got two tech slots that are doing nothing. I just got access to an auto forge, and I'm not sure how valuable it actually is. Oh, wait, no. Valuable. Pretty valuable because of how expensive. Alloys are right now. Ah, oh, no, don't tell me notes are um, system specific. No, they're not good. Oh, that would have sucked. <laughs> yep, because I would have had no idea what I was doing. Where's my closest well, Just asking for a friend. How's that different? Um, fair I point. The, I got the Voltum Reality Perforator. Well, as long as you're perforating reality and not my ear balls, I don't mind. <laughs> You've got balls in them, right? <laughs> oh my god, Flanker. I didn't say it. I was just you clarifying. Are spicy today. That's why he was late. <laughs> uh, oh yeah consuming is shortage and uh, starvation this feels like Stellaris <laughs> yep. I thought you meant it feels like the United Kingdom well yeah there is that too <laughs> good Oh yeah, physics. I've just seen what the astral splitting thing is, and yeah, you should definitely want to do that. I wasn't the one that asked. It wasn't even an, an American accent that asked. Yeah. Well, all, all you foreigners. I understand. sound very American now. <laughs> wow, you sound less American trying to sound American. Hell yeah. How do you manage to sound less American making an American accent? Uh, I... I know, it's impressive, right? I want astral harvesting, uh, but but ChatGPT says disruptors because uh, because it could provide potent energy-based weapons capable of bypassing enemy shields, potentially giving your fleet an advantage in combat hailed. situations. Okay, ChatGPT, whatever you say. <laughs> Training for future as a ChatGPT operator. You will own nothing and be happy. Wait, who is this other person I'm building a spy network on? I haven't recognized their symbol. Alright, 
right, you you shall be the first contact envoy then. Well, I guess I will terraform everything into ocean worlds since I can't do I can't actually make them part of my empire yet. Seems reasonable. Start prepping them. You will be an ocean world. You will be an ocean world. I'm getting my clone vats online. I could have I got Bioreactor yet. It's a little annoying. Because it's a rare tech. So, although having said that, when I've been doing test no. games, advanced I seem to get it all the time. Advanced Bioreactors, advanced, mm -hmm. not regular Bioreactor. Blocker cleared. Because I'm way, I'm producing way too much freaking food. I'm selling 140 food, I'm still plus 90. System survey concluded. Well, I, I was selling a hundred food, and now I'm not selling any because I'm about to be spending all of it on on, um, on clone vats. Heck, I probably need more food than I, than I'm producing right now. Why is everyone producing... Why is everyone producing Unity? Galvanizer? What's that? Of course, most useless building in the game. It appears I can make a uh, third fleet to make a freaking uh, mercenary enclave, so I think I will do that. Nice. <laughs> so make a bunch of empty destroyers, fifty of them approximately, or well, twenty-five. Is it worth taking the Tiana Vec system with 24 freaking... Uh... Yes. You might want to... So, like, later physics, you might want to um, remove some of your internal systems that are just completely useless. But, yeah, for now, for now I think you want to take Tiana, Tiana Vec. Well, if I take that, I should take four others and move my freaking... No, it, it, it would just be an second. I'm going to end up with a second freaking way into my system, then. You, you're just taking it for the science, not for much else. Well, because right next to it is Philadris, which has five freaking Zrow. Oh my god, yeah, okay, that's worth it. It's worth it to get both of those. Five Zrow? That is insane. I have Mark. five throw in a system as well, but I cannot, uh, I cannot use it yet. I can't use it either, but might as well go ahead and get it. It 
it's gonna get me way above my empire size, but I'll go ahead and take all five of these systems. No one else seems to want them. Ship upgrades applied. Dak Donnery didn't show up to run my neighbor. He might, so his empire might start taking it if I don't. I didn't realize how devastating uh, my my species is to the um, what's it called? To the planet they inhabit. Although we do in we do get a lot of bonuses from it. Overwhelming invasive Xeno four and invasive Xeno four for a total of plus twenty percent to uh, society research, food, and immigration. Have you guys noticed that there's a um, penalty to acceptance on diplomacy stuff for recently controlled play uh, empires? Yes, one thousand minus a thousand. Yeah. I don't know if I like that or not. Surely that's the point of the penalty, is they don't know if they like you or not. <laughs> Fair point. So you can, you know, persuade them. Please give me eco simulation. Please give me eco simulation. No, global defense squid. <sighs> I think I think Chachi PT just doesn't want to give me any resource bonus resource output bonuses. Fresh coffee made by Cody. Message. Emma is Morass okay over there? Yep, yep, yep. His system seems to be rather occupied. What? Oh, those. It's okay. Those systems were systems that he occupied last session. <laughs> Pretty much. Thank you, Cody. Oh, <laughs> guess, guess I won't be stopping this recycling initiative. Yes, recycling. Ah, no, all these space hippies, the Schmeeples yeah. wouldn't stand for it. Well, seeing as one of my planets is soon going to, my uh, home planet is soon going to be, uh, the Gaia world? Because of Gaia Cedars. I think I'm pretty happy with it. Hello. <laughs> mm hmm? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. He did, okay? He did. I think we've established that he did indeed. Okay, I... How come you haven't taken three systems right around you, Russ? Um, Empire Sprawl, my dude. Yeah, but two of them have planets you're gonna want. We don't do planets. Don't forget, I don't... I don't have the uh, imperial prerogative and whatnot, I get way punished. 
Did you not hear quite how angry the uh, the Counts of Rust was in the background when you suggest they do planets? Oh, it's a real insult. To reduce Empire Sprawl as well. Hey, Kevnos. Yeah, I'm, I'm creeping up. Well, I'm very close to 200, and that's going to put my eye across. I'm at 310 then. already. I, I've been debating not taking systems that are really good because I'm at 104. <laughs> that's overkill if, their physics. If, if they're if really have, good, they'll pay any, for themselves. Yeah, if you have any weak, uh, weak systems, you should probably... You, you, you might as well just uh, get rid of them. Uh, when you only have 10 systems? Yeah. I, don't, I actually don't really have any super weak systems that aren't also like a crucial... Uh, I've got one weak point. system. Well, I've got two weak systems. I got one that has four energy and two physics research, but it's physics research. And I have another one that only has system two energy, survey but it concluded. also has my next planet I'm gonna I'm gonna colonize. Oh, I have unemployed workers. Whatever shall I do? Have you thought about sending them to the Soiling Green Factory? I think I'd rather just put them to work. So, has I'm anyone joking. watched the uh, Fallout series? I've um, episode two at the moment. I actually I'm binged like, it yesterday. I'm sixteen minutes in. Yesterday. <laughs> I'm. I think I'm on episode four with Plan. I'm really enjoying it so far. I think they've done a really good job. Yeah, I really like it as well. It, it got me to play do? Fallout Three rather than watch the show. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really tired because I didn't sleep yesterday. Oh, unfortunately, I know that feeling, sir. Hey, you know, it's possible to make a 25 uh, destroyer fleet with zero power. Really? <laughs> yeah, oh, you take all the weapons off them. <laughs> oh, no, I designed it to make a, make it where it's uh, it's really cheap to build them. <laughs> ah, Voltec defense ships. Too much splatter and gore for me. Yeah, there were a few gory yeah. moments, Fire. You you only have to have fifty fleet capacity filled with a leader to make a to make freaking it in a whatever a mercenary enclave. You don't need to have any. It, there's no minimum military power. So build 25 completely empty level one tech everything freaking destroyers and you get your 50 attack power for cheap. Or 50, Research uh, concluded. Cheap. Hey, Daddy. Oh, I have to do two researches next? Okay. Two point flow. I now have a shroud tunnel set up. It's tough. 18 episodes of the final season of Blacklist Watch. I really enjoyed that show as well. I did, but then it started like just dragging on. And that was probably like five seasons ago by now, maybe ten. It is it still going as well? No, no, it's over. Ah, I might actually watch it then. Does it end properly or? Um, I did. Yes. Yeah. Like, did did they know that it was going to end, or did they just have to suddenly say, "Oh, sorry, we're we've been cancelled"? No, I think they got to write what they wanted to to write for it. Ah, I might look into it then. Yeah. 
I would. It's a pleasant waste of time. It's. I watched. Um, been watching quite a bit of Superstore recently as well with Plan while I'm. Nothing else to watch. It's another pleasant waste of time. Uh, I hadn't, Desi. I'll go and take a look. We are being hailed. <laughs> Yeah, Physics, you know you were asking why I haven't taken those systems. I was actually thinking of abandoning some of the ones I have taken. That's how like, dire the situation is. What's ballooned? <laughs> now I'm watching it, Dead Sea. Our colonists are in open revolt. Freebies from the machines, we graciously accept. Ah, speaking of freebies, th thanks for the um, precursor thingy there, Holland. Oh, you're most welcome. I'm sure you totally did that on purpose, right? Correct, correct. Yes, uh, definitely, definitely. I only need two more now. I'm sure I'll get them at any moment. What precursor do you need? Um, first league. Ah. Huh.
Where do I want to put this mercenary enclave, though? Yeah, I'm having the same dilemma. Like, it, it takes stuff from around uh, where it's placed, right? Or is it just the system it's in? No, ju just the one it's in. Alright. It doesn't even take the system, does it? It does not. It does not? No, it just makes like a little station there, and the fleet sits at it. Oh. So, oh! Like, you might <laughs> as well put it at the defensive point or something? Yeah, I'll put it on my shipyard so it's equal distance between both my main defensive points, because that's why the shipyard's where it's at. Knowledge is the key to the universe. I was about to say something about me receiving refugees then, and then I remembered I'm outside and people can hear me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is the weather that nice with you today then, bud? Uh, well, I'm wearing a jumper and gloves, so not really. <laughs> Still nice to get fresh air, though. And more importantly, not have a whiny nose. Well. I'm going to single-handedly increase the price of food in the galaxy. I'm all for that. Alright, I think we probably want to try upping our speed. Everyone's kept up. Yeah. I think so too. I will probably be the limiting factor today. Uh, you are, but not by much, bud. Good. Yeah, you're still white. That's wow. Time to like one day <laughs> white instead of yellow or red. Sure, that's what he meant. <laughs> yep. Thank God, uh, black. I swear I'm not racist. We all believe with how you said it, too. <laughs> he only likes whales. He doesn't like people. <laughs> he's not racist, he's xenophobic. <laughs> Let's use the right <laughs> terms here. <laughs> oh Nature-loving, though. Oh, yeah. Nature's very important as long as it's in space. And sometimes when it's on land, too. Sorry, Elon, what was that? I apparently have no influence. Yeah, I'm losing one, which is not ideal, but I've still got 800 stockpiled, so I'll manage. 1.5? Am, am I on the white typical stance? Yeah, okay, I am. I'm getting three now. I turned off something. <laughs>
size 25 world that I could potentially turn into a Gaia world. Does uh, settling the tomb world where the the Gruner used to live, or what are they called, the Baur? Baur, yep. Oh wait, does yeah, this go, uh, go ahead and settle that. Red alert. Does it have Space any special under fire for it? Do you have the artifact yet? Yeah. Okay, so I, I don't think so. Ah, okay. But it's still well worth it. I mean, I can either choose to settle the size 20 tomb world, which does have the metal boneyards, which is society research from jobs plus 10%. Explorer. Or, I have the or a size 25 regular planet. The Monites have seen the flow of commerce through the galaxy and are thus enlightened. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Psionics? Bah! What a load of tosh. Exactly. You probably prefer communicating through whale song, don't you? <laughs> it is the future. Ship upgrades applied. Subject specialization complete. Knowledge is the key to the universe. To establish a embassy. Where the hell is the Commonwealth of Man? Uh, way up in the north. I do not do a defense treaty with them. Why would I want a defense treaty with them? The uh, they their home planet is right next to a military militant isolationist stagnant ascendancy and keeps getting attacked every few years. Wow, oh, that doesn't sound very good for profit. Great for profit, just don't defend them. They always need weapons. <laughs> I still haven't got the single tech that allows me to edit my uh, species. I was able to get it because I, I just did the, um, what's it called multiple times? I, I, I did the agenda multiple times. Council agenda available. Council agenda ready. A 
system we are being hailed. Newborn amoebas imprint on the first thing they see that moves. Many have followed asteroids until they starved. Hey, I'm teleforming a tw size 29 Baron world. <laughs> ChatGPT seems to value value minerals, but not energy or um or food, which sucks because I'm going a food heavy build. I think you greatly overestimate what ChatGPT thinks. <laughs> <laughs> In common with uh, many tech firms and businesses. I just watched an alternate reality Research where I concluded. people who will get burned again, and now I got flame storm troopers. What would I have gotten if I intervened? We'll never know. God, I'm gonna have to Google it now. I'm way too curious. I hate when you're looking at something and freaking an election comes up and just closes whatever you're looking at. Like, hurry, Lord Martin. Denied. Nope. Research concluded. I wish you could terraform worlds into the same world they already are, just so you don't have to, just to get rid of the features, <laughs> the blockers before you colonize. Knowledge is the nice. key to the universe. Uh, you can do that by terraforming it away and back. And, and That's you, a waste of time and money. You can also clear the blockers while you're in the process of colonizing, by the way. Yeah, it depends on how many blockers there are, though. I learned that recently. You can do that with two or three blockers, but if you get a ton of blockers... Well, it only took until, until since stream started. But the person below me has been cooking the worst possible thing they could. For a second, I thought their apartment was on fire. Oh, God. <laughs> Aw, quirk. The smell is finally fading. It's the one negative about having the vent directly below your computer desk. If you will live above the morass, there are sacrifices. <laughs> and, Cody, I don't know if you could hear me before, but uh, 8 p.m., uh, so in about two and a quarter hours. 
I don't know. I don't even think Morass could have been this bad. <laughs> don't underestimate him. Yeah. How dare. It's just rude. <laughs> Smells like burned cabbage and sauerkraut. <laughs> well, if Morass had a flame and some cabbage, he could definitely do that. I believe in Morass. <laughs> As for my quiet it, movement over here, I've just been filling out the last parts of my country and frantically oh, trying trying to build up more uh, research centers to catch up with the growth that I'm still doing. <laughs> Is at 35% uh, extra cost now. Just not insignificant. Mm. Indeed, Oz. <laughs> we are being Science hailed. is a resource from jobs, right? Yes. And alloys is a resource from the jobs? Yes. But trade is not, oh. and amenities are not. Ah, yeah. Bad words. I see. I see. What happened this time, Flanko? I uh, just out of uh, consumer goods and I didn't realize I was. Flanker's really good at bad words. Oh. Yeah. If I'll Few trade scenes you, and stuff. I'll trade you uh, consumer goods for minerals. Um, What, you need minerals? Yes. Uh, how many minerals do you want per consumer good? Um, I know, we'll just use the regular value that the game gives, I guess. Two? Resources. Consumer goods. We are being hailed. All right. Minerals. I'll just make it go. Oh. Oh dear. We'll do this now. A united oh. world. Appreciate it, Darth. Thank you. Oh, right. This is apparently as many. Blocker cleared. Uh, next week, Manlaws, Frostpunk 2, or both. Uh, I haven't been given a press key for Frostpunk 2 yet. I have got a press key for Manlords. Um, we are being hailed. Crystal mites, needos. The bigger question is, Flanker, win more Rimworld? Not anytime soon, to be honest. Uh, November, probably. No. <laughs> I just don't really... Uh, I don't really know what I would add to a Rimworld run at the moment. I'm not particularly inspired to play it. Uh, it's not... Not RimWorld is bad, just that I think that if you if I'm gonna stream it, it has to be doing something entertaining with it, and I have no idea what I would do. Come on, Flank, you're not on Research concluded. Well, I mean yes. Uh System I am survey that too, concluded. But <laughs> wow, the game is totally screwing me here. I can't create a sector and so I can release a vassal just because it's within five jumps of my other sector. Ooh. Oh. Huh. Can can you move the sector? What do you mean move it? Move the sector capital. Oh, good thinking about my although it's my capital, so maybe not, but oh. that's worth trying at least. Uh the base oh, key for Swing 2 is a deluxe edition. Um yeah, well I was just actually checking if uh the game buzz team has actually been sent a key. I am checking at the moment. I don't think your idea will work, Ryan. What did you say? What did you say, boss? I don't think your idea will work because uh, it requires five 
systems between them, and uh, my empire just isn't big enough to get five jumps, so... Ah. Stink. Was a good idea, though. The scientist has died. That's a cool... Then why did you kill him? He was asking too little questions. Maybe he asked too many questions, like, why are we so focused on... Well, he was a scientist, the... his job is to ask questions. But what if he asked, like, why are we so focused on economy? The what? That, that, that's a silly question. You asked for Mandalore's key to but yes, you're too honest. Um, the... Hmm. If you are writing for an outlet, um, fire, the, uh... The best people to get in touch with for keys for Hooded Horse games are actually Hooded Horse's PR and not the individual game developer. I don't know w which way you tried. Um, a Dwamak was a short-lived bird species right. that experimented too fast and grew extinct. Don't, don't trust the black holes. The hunters are always... Uh, Hooded Horse website, the influencer email. Yeah, that would... That would be the route uh, I would take. And if you have any... Any prior content created, um, sending that over as well. Um, I have to say, Hooded Horse have been one of the best... Uh, best publishers I've come across recently for actual press relations and uh, and content creator relations. Um, they have done a pretty spectacular job of the, like all the basic stuff you would hope that every developer and publisher does, but they really don't. feeling you were going to do that game. Come here, give me your stupid mercenaries. You want to hire mercenaries against me, you stupid little micronation that shouldn't even exist? I'll hire mercenaries back. Our mercenaries shall fight each other. <laughs> CK3 enters the chat. It's dumb that they get to do this a second Evasive time. Evasive maneuvers. Not only did they get enough money to do it the first time, they have enough money to do it five years later. Mm. But I was prepared this time, and I could hire someone. Wait, time to choose and such. I was just looking up who, because I was lucky. Sorry, Flanker. Um, just I'm just moving back inside. It shouldn't be a problem, but if anything happens, you know why. All right, bud. I'm gonna slow it down then, just while you're doing that, because you're already in the red. The other one we got sent by uh, Hooded Horse was Norland. Uh, Norland Medi looked fun when it had like the open beta bit on it. It was like from uh, one of those indie shows on Steam. Although Manor Lords has been getting hyped up quite a bit ever since it like got announced, too. Oh, Knowledge fire! If you uh, to the universe. fancy writing an article for uh, for Gaming Buzz, you can then use that in your future applications for keys because they are generally pretty good.
Yes. However, uh, it doesn't really need to be. If I, you're, and also, Germans in general, sweeping generalization here, all of my German friends that speak English all apologize for not speaking English particularly well and still write better than many of my uh, my neighboring countrymen do. Besides, it's gaming buzz. Come on. So who were the Lippian citizen commonwealth, anyway? I don't think they were. Construction right? completed. Were they like my... I, I had one. It was it was a revolution in the League of Utak. I'm putting it down. Ah, okay. I was wondering if... Because I had an event where uh, one of my pre-FTL civilizations uh, unified, and I was like, oh, did they like immediately get a bunch of land? But I guess not. No, this was League of Utak lost one of its sectors. Right, 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 right. Still need to establish those mercenaries somewhere. How also, many ships did you need for an enclave? 50. 50. Right. Oh, 50 fleet, uh, uh, fleet size. That's all you need. Also worth knowing, Fire, um, at least one of our editors on Gaming Buzz is a fluent German speaker. A native German speaker. So if you run into trouble, they can help. Are you back situated indoors, Russ? Orbital ring or Star Fortress? Well, if you like it, you should probably put a ring on it, mate. Star Fortress it is. So one of the things that like that you can that you get with uh, the Gaia Cedars is you can get the bloom trait on five of your plant of your pop on the planet every once in a while, which causes them to become Gaia World Preference and bloomed, which is plus ten percent resources from jobs on Gaia Worlds as well as okay, plus ten percent growth speed, uh, minus ten percent amenities, and minus ten percent housing usage. Nice. Yeah, I didn't know about that until. Oh, wow, evasion and tracking. I need more research output. I mean, I always need more research output, but you know, just how things are. Also, if you do apply for the key for a while, think about it, and you don't get it, you may find that there's another, um, another opportunity without you reapplying, um, that may come up on April twenty fourth at three p.m. BST.
So, uh... Being as the Hooded Horse team may be a very, uh, very snowed under, they may just do a separate batch of uh, keys because the first ones have some embargoes on. Wait, who the heck did I just get rivaled by? You? Who are you? Oh, you. Yeah, that, might, that makes sense, I guess. Wait, what's this Arcadian? Oh, Tolmat is the Arcadian fish market. Hey, level. level unlocked. Ooh, value, protection, influence gain, very good. Well, that's just for the president, but still. Testing, testing. Hello, hello. Hello. Ah, it's working again. Uh, Flanker, did you see my message? Uh, I did not, sir. Hang on. Uh, I just said I'm back, so you can ah, speed up. For cool. some reason, after I came back inside, it, my input was no longer working, so. Fair enough. Just Bluetooth things, I guess. Yeah, that's the only thing with Bluetooth headsets is they generally suck for. Uh, yeah, although I'm pretty sure the laptop was using its mic and not the headset, so why it became a problem, I don't know. Blocker cleared. So yeah, my experiment there to and uh, with the plan of releasing a puppet backfired terribly and then ended up with three planets like completely killing my Empire's role. So I had to abandon the planets which cost altogether near enough a thousand influence. Would not yeah, recommend and will not be trying anything like that ever again. Research concluded. I don't understand why my big brain plans never work. Wait, what, what is this? Why is there like, is this like an uprising or something? And those are the last completed. words we got across the comms as they stormed the control room. And everyone lived happily ever after. <laughs> was a after all the rich were eaten. Who's a Libyan citizen Because I just answered that. They... Legal Utak had an uprising. I'm oh. putting it down. You you just asked that. Uh, I did, and I didn't hear you respond. Holland asked Holland it before God. as well. Uh, uh, it was Holland. Oh. Yeah, you answered me, and now Ryan asked it again, without needing to, because I had already asked it. Sometimes it's like we don't actually listen to each other, like any healthy relationship. Uh, also, um, Fire, uh, on my notes here, it says that uh, Man Laws will be releasing on Steam, GOG, and the Microsoft Store, and it's going to be a day one game pass. Do we I have to help to... you with this? No, you don't need to help. I just need to give me permission, I guess. <laughs> Oh, 
Also, they're currently attacking Grimm's old faction, and I should probably put a stop to that. These be shenanigans. Finally enough. No, I need more. Research concluded. Oh, Give me just a bunch more corvettes to turn into a thingabob mob my bulb. Okay, what do I want to make my species into? Uh Holland, who's this we're going to war with? The a guy I'm intending to make a vessel. Fair he enough. Need help. That's all I ask. Do you need help? No. All right. I'm good. Go for it. <laughs> mercenaries from the same mercenary enclave are genuinely fighting each other for the, this stupid uprising. Welcome to war. <laughs> what is it good for? Uh, the weapon uh, market. Mo monetary gains from the people fighting. One, not four. Why do I have suddenly have a destroyer fleet designed? God, my empire sprawl is going bananas. This is not good. Right. Yeah, mine's mine's down to ninety eight. Nice. I I have a very high population output, a uh, population growth output. Two phase war this because first I need to weaken them and then I need to tell them to uh, metaphorically get on their knees and submit. I think the worst part is I'm gonna have to fight that probably fight this again because I guarantee they're going to uprise again by the time I can pacify them. Which is why it was even more annoying they rose they successfully rose up to begin with. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do with the Pashardi Absorbers is I'm going to conquer them and then make them into a vassal. I don't want their, their pops in my t in my space. It's not like, you know, they border me or anything, and you could ask me if there was anything I had that they say. Oh, on. wait, they do? I didn't know. Yeah. Did you oh, check, so though? <laughs> I literally can't see any connection between the two of you. I only see that I can only barely there's see that single, you have a border. There's a single planet that has mining drones on it that hasn't been cleared out. That's between me and them. Also, the mm. planet that has my last Vultum artifact on that because of this uprising, I haven't had the chance to clear out yet. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, I'm about to get the other side of that event chain you had for the ball. Ah, very good. I'm curious to see what comes of it. Uh, 
I mean, I don't think I want a huge amount from them, just the part that I was going to take that they ended up taking, and that would have just been a nice connection. But I think I have enough planets, just, you know, it would be nicer if I had that extra space. I'm finally researching field modulation! The level 1 plus 20% um, energy from technicians research. Blocker cleared. I am so happy! Blocker cleared. Wow, the AI Commonwealth of Man is getting the. Uh... Wrecked. They got wrecked. They're now a vassal. Ancient construction saturator artillery. Oh, uh, whose vassal are they? The people next to them? Because they're going to get wrecked too. <laughs> uh, Lax and then cooperative society. Because the inherent vestige is going to keep attacking Bennett. So now they're gonna have to go defend it. Dan Dan Dan. Oh my god, you're right! <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, I was muted. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Um, Flanker, if you're there, there's interesting development. So the Ray and then Council, the Orange Aliens to myself. They're offering to become my protectorate. I think it's because they just got beaten up by Grim Harbinger's <laughs> former nation. What do you think about that? Um, yeah, I'm open to it, bud. Well. I, I don't think it would bring them into our federation as such, uh, but it would kind of be an extension of it. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, uh, we'll see what happens. Just okay. Oh, damn. Okay. Uh, yeah, they, they wanted to become my bulwark, which means that they get extra ship strength and stuff, I think. Extra defensive well, stuff. A fleet cap. Okay. Uh, not that I have tried Oz, but Russ might know. Uh, you're using bone conducting earphones, aren't you, Russ? Or you were? Uh, that's exactly what I'm using right now. Any good? Would you recommend them? Yes, but, and there is a bit of a but, do not get the cheap ones. Like, they are not bone conducting, they are just little speakers, and they are awful. The only ones I know for sure work properly are the Shocks brand. They are, like, proper, and the difference pretty is good. huge. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. Uh, it, Choices. Not a lot. Can't really sleep with them because they they'll, they'll, they'll press into the side of your head too much. But uh, I like I don't have that issue. Like I, they're so comfortable for me. I, I sometimes start looking for them even though they're on my head. Do you sleep on on the side of your head? Yep. Huh. Well, no, I sleep oh, on the side geez. of my body, but. Oh <laughs> yeah. Well, when when, I, when I'm sleeping on my stomach. Uh, my head is pressed down into the pillow more, so it's less comfortable. Not me. I do a headstand and I turn my head to the side, and I, I sleep on the side of my head. <laughs> sleep upside down with his back against the wall. Well, I finally got everything I need to get zero population growth to empire size. Or population size. There is a. Uh, I had 84. There's a minimum reduction, though, I think, in like 95% or something. Nope. Nope. It's not even on my. Like, when I look at my empire size, I have district systems and colonies. It doesn't even list population anymore. Oh, nice. Um, Planker, by the way, sorry to bother you. I was, I was going to suggest um, offering association status to my other neighbors who have been pretty chill. They're mega cool, so just to let you know, I'm gonna put this. Sounds through. good, sir. Unless you have any objections, um, no, 
Not particularly. I don't think it costs us anything. It just acts as a non-aggression pact with them, basically. Oh. Thank you. We are being hailed. Deal for flanker. The crazy thing is those aliens... Knowledge is the key the to the universe. Um, so I don't know what the, uh, the AI uh, calculations were there. I do have stronger economy and science, I think. We are being hailed. That's strange. I'm suddenly losing resources. Why is that? Am I sending it to you? Oh my god. <laughs> Don't tell me I'm sending resources to this vessel. Uh, if they're a bulwark, you might be. They are a bulwark, yeah. Yeah, okay, it's bulwark. You send you send uh, basic resources to them. Oh, God, I didn't know this. I should have read oh, this yeah. print. Absolutely. Um, was Super Earth not reading the fine print? No. <laughs> I don't suppose I can renegotiate this now. For I mean, you just send them some aliens. I Ten years later, you so it's self sufficient. I could just release them. Um, are you. Are you not able to keep up with their needs? I'm, I'm now negative on food and energy, so... Ugh. Not, not critically, just enough to be annoying. Construction completed. This bug where it just says that your env envoy is a commanding target nation is kind of annoying, so I have no idea what he's doing. Like, is he improving relations? Is he harming relations? Great, that is. Very vague. Yeah, that, that, that's the only... I never harm relations, so I always know. There were, there, well, there was one empire. I'd been trying to make them friendly, but they just kept being dicks, so I decided, fine. I'm not going to improve relations, but I don't know what I am doing. You can click on them to find, find out. Construction uh, completed. Where does it say? Uh, it'll be at the top. It'll it show you a bunch of... Um, like, it show you like rivalries, uh, cast of bellies and stuff. It'll say uh, if they're improving or harming relations with you, and if you're improving or harming relations with them. Oh, yeah. I assume you mean in that little scrolly bit where it shows all that, yeah. That's what I meant by the top. I am not mentioned in there at all, apart from closed borders. Construction completed. I'm surprised that you are not, um, you're not doing either one. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, no, in the squally bit? No, it's above the squally bit. Above it's the, the squally bit. Yeah, it, it, show, it shows the, um, like, it shows your symbol and then a bunch of Knowledge other symbols. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Oh, there, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, well spotted. Ah, yeah, we are harming our relations, okay. Nice. Well, I'm going to stop doing that, and I'm just going to spy on them instead, because screw those guys. Game, I swear to God, if you... If oh, those God, stupid they're raiders bad. intercept my landing party to make this war end, I'm going to be very salty. Oh, thank you. Now there's almost a 20k fleet of raiders who were hired to go... System survey concluded. Uh, Council agenda available. Which, yeah, I, um... I had to deal with raiders' succession as well, but I, as they deal with... I didn't, I didn't actually have the strength to do anything about it. I just had to let my populations be abducted. 
they weren't humans, so it's fine. Just a bit annoying because I guarantee the people who hired it are people I'm fighting because rebellions just have infinite money, I guess. Because why would it be fair or make any sense? Well, I think the reason they're rebelling is they don't think it's fair and doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Someone rented out the fleet from the Enclave I finally got around to making, so they got 25 destroyers with nothing inside of them. <laughs> Construction so four completed. cruisers, so the entire freaking fleet tower is 119. <laughs> It's like, that's like your first cruiser. When you first start the game, you're at like a hundred and something. Hey, well done. Nah, no, I have to do a deal with the raiders. Stuff does deals with raiders all the time. I say deals. Milks them <laughs> for tears. Oh, I forgot, I forgot to invite these guys into the war. Dang it. I'm gonna invite them into the war and I forgot to do that. <laughs> My armies must be pretty terrifying. It's a combination of uh, psionic Knowledge warriors with is the key like, to the universe. mad flamethrower guys. That does sound kind of scary. And those flamethrower guys seem to fight until death. Damn, that's pretty hardcore. Well, it's a little bit difficult to surrender with a massive flamethrower on your back. That is true. <laughs> the moment you turn around. We are being hailed. Planetary property collectivized. Ew, gross. Sounds like My senses indicate Ooh, that Baltimore you are Earth's in need around. I got a legendary leader. Would you like to re-enable? Nice. Tutorial missions and tips are disabled. Well, I can't do this. Reality perforated plus 40% weapons damage. Why are my Corvettes no, on shields only? Sorry, I was just seeing your message in chat. Two sec. Yo, game, I didn't actually want that space storm to disappear because it was uh, removing shields. I know. I, I that's that's what I was just thinking. Well, like that that storm was directly a new on world the territory of opportunities that has the raiders, awaits. but not all of my fleet was in one space. Mm. Oh wow! This guy. This guy's great. Never mind. The mercenary contract ended, so I can't even fight these guys. E. Oh. My mercenary contract ended, so I can't fight the raiders. That's, so that's okay. The raiders go away eventually, right? Yes. Yeah. 
Must have to say Research that. concluded. I can't remember what Ascension Perks I talked about taking last week. Uh, the ones that help you be the best. Around. So that nothing could ever keep you down. I don't think I want Voidborn. No. Uh, Master Builders, no. Galactic Wonders, I don't want Arcology. Oh, okay. Um, Ocean World kind of required for this build. Council agenda ready. Construction completed. Thank you, Alice. <laughs> <clears throat> Our station is under assault. Construction completed. Uh, don't forget to check your edicts, folks. Yeah, we have to make sure they're all turned on. All well, just in general, on. it's always worth having a quick look, see what you've got on, and make sure you've not forgot something and whatnot. Because it's easy to turn them on at the beginning of the game and then forget they exist. I just turn them on and leave them on. Yep, that's kind of my point. We have lost a mining station. Bloody pirates. We have lost a mining station. Yep, there's more I could turn on. Glad you said something. Like I say, it's easy to forget that you've unlocked new ones or that you've got better options we and whatnot. We have lost a mining station. We are being hailed.
So apparently you can um you can make claims on people. System survey concluded. If there is um if you got a defensive pact, even if you're only uh, even if your liberation was only. Yeah, but making claims is different than declaring war, so. Yeah, but you get those claims if you declare war on them later. Right, I can now do a new um, tradition. What should I do for reducing empire size? Harmony? Yes. Okay. Domination my, my, and harmony. Oh, crap. I should have probably picked uh, domination. Oh, well. It, it is the minus 10% uh, size from pops that that is why you take harmony. It's 15% from harmony. Engaging oh hostile forces. Ready, domination is minus 10%. Basically, so are you at zero, op, uh, um, zero uh, size from pops? Yep. Nice. That's very good. <laughs> Research concluded. Uh, I got refugees fleeing from the penguins. The penguins? Uh, the Le Guin entity. Ah. They're only Mate. fleeing because they can't handle the cuteness, though. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, they offered to cook them dinner, and since then, that sector of space has been abandoned. Wait, but the Le Guin entity is a hive mind. And as one, they can't cook. <laughs> oh my god. There you go. All right. My fellow hive mind is back being played by a person again. Oh, wait, yeah. How did I not notice my mask was there? He's always been here. Could you not smell burning? I don't think he has always been here. What? I'm so confused. Oh, uh, is that a moment, Vag? Like, I, oh. sorry, I didn't know that was going to happen, but I think I'm spawning my precursor world, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. So, now it makes sense as to why I was smelling burning. It was actually morass. Hard to tell you, bud. What was that? Uh, that was some raiders getting beaten into submission, I'm sure. <laughs> Have to get those tears somehow. Research concluded. Starbase lost? So, someone just lost a starbase. And I heard it. Yep, someone's yeah, having a good time. We all heard it. Physics? Physics, are you echoing? Uh, it's... it's the... I'm fine, dude. Okay, good. Oh my god, they had another uprising. 
it's the same uprising. He hasn't finished the fight yet. He's at 150, and now they're fighting back. So I have to move my fleets back down there. Go knock the crap out of him. Very inconsiderate. Ask them so nicely to stop resisting, and they just keep resisting. It's like they didn't even listen. Oh my god, I got a big salvage fleet. Construction completed. Salvaging fleets is so powerful. station lost and I don't know where it's mine don't worry about it uh, what oh well, I know it's, mine. it's 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 in your like offshoot area way down south uh, but yet there's like two I've lost or like one I guess but I guess the other uh, mm. are what he already mentioned uh, Ponga, just okay. to be aware, or before I do so, I was thinking of uh, offering association status to the Rayenan Council, the Orange people, if you think that's a good idea. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, living in South Wales, up in the valleys, there's plenty of Orange people I'm friendly with. <laughs> just uh, keep supplying their, uh, their fake tan, it'll be fine. Isles. I mean, you see the sun so little. Technically. Yeah, but we're, some of us are so pale that we only need a little bit of sun. Then. <laughs> well, really yeah, we just... Yeah, uh, then, then you burn. Right, red. Then, like, then we burn, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess we don't burn. Brazed octopus. Nice. God, I'm salvaging so much. What does that mean, salvaging stuff? Uh, when so you can salvage ships. There, there's an there's an upgrade. Okay. Um, salvager. I, I have salvager three on this leader. System effects. When debris is scavenged slash researched in system, chance uh to salvage ships thirty percent. I have a thirty percent chance of of salvaging and that means creating for free those ah, ships. that's pretty cool yeah A new world has been colonized.
Doing some QC by hand, so sorry if you heard rustling. I did not hear anything. Excellent. Did I just lose an entire fleet? Yeah, I did. Ugh. You know, generally... How'd that happen? Yeah, where did you put it last? Well... In battle. Did you check behind the moon? Uh, well, I mean, I think battle is uh, in Kent, so... Uh, there's probably plenty of mooning going on. I can't believe you left it there. I was in East Sussex, sorry. Oh, crap. Leaving it oh. all the way over there is pretty oh, sus. Uh, by the way, Flanker, another situation to be aware of potentially. You know the um, slimy slug people to your west? Uh, they, yes, uh, the Cybell Foundation. Foundation. They are in a defense attack with uh, the Sutharian Empire to my south. That's Grimm's former empire. Um, under AI control, they are looking a bit threatening. Um, they have been expanding, they've got strong you equal to mine, and they are hostile to me, despite me trying to improve relations. Uh, see, I've been doing the opposite. I've been uh, telling we them they're uh, mothers hit. of hamsters. Oh, really? Ah. Y yeah, they're... Uh, uh, yeah, they're, actually, they're hostile, but relations are improving. Because I, I think one sorry, of the mothers... I was talking about, uh, yeah, so I, yeah, I, I don't really care about those guys. The Sutharian Empire to my south, uh, those are the ones I was talking about. There. Oh, the Sutharians. Uh, uh, a little bit stronger. And, uh, they have rivaled to me. Ah, yeah, they've closed the borders to me. They're or, overwhelming to yeah. me as well. I'll start manufacturing. Yeah, they're in a defensive pack, so yeah, I can imagine... Knowledge they is the key to, to the universe. The declaration of war on us at some point. Um, yeah. Just make sure when you start manufacturing flanker, you don't have all the boxes be dumped on the side of the street, getting in the way of cars. It's very inconsiderate. Look, <laughs> <laughs> I'm only just clearing all the boxes dumped in the side of my dining rooms. <laughs> <laughs> Interstellar debris analyzed. We are being hailed. That's what I think they will strike. Ship upgrades applied. Super Earth has resubjugated the aliens. Hopefully, this yeah, time under better terms. Uh, yeah, I did a different deal with them this time. So I think I'm actually getting resources from giving them stuff. Super Earth doing deals with aliens sounds wrong. I don't know, this is the, the alternate timeline, I suppose. The strangest Super Earth. The heretic Super Earth. You're just trying to make regular Earth look good by comparison. Eh? <laughs> I know, it's really, really difficult to stoop that low, but... <laughs> What a matriarch. That's one big whale. How did I get here? How many lands could you make out of it? Theoretically. Only one way to find out. 
Oh my god, that's a lot of true a, a lot of free power. I don't have the free power to respond in kind yet. Oh, the Tianki Matriarch. Well done, whoever did that. Oh. Rixian Empire. Something died. Probably Matriarch. It is in their territory. Used to be, that used to be Dax Danner. <laughs> Sounds good, Fire. Golf will be in about an hour. Construction completed. We have encountered spaceborne life forms. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> Thank you to ChatGPT for supporting the, the, me in these endeavors. Yeah, our Federation leveled up. Yay. <laughs> I don't think it does a huge amount at the moment. There's something about ship speed in Federation space. So that, that yeah, is... which does mean the war does break out. Forms. At least we can head a bit closer to each other a bit faster. Get out, get out. Please get out. Rude. Wow. Oh my god, they got, they got away. Okay. Oh my god, why do they have... Why do they have a garrison like that? Uh, okay. I expect that they are going to start running out of uh, resources soon.
Right, now to turn this into a vasilis, not to explode my thingy even more. Oh, it's all part of my borders and hard to distinguish. Uh, Right, 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 right. I need... Con, and I would need to... Right, and... Edit sector... We are being hailed. Right, and how do I give a sec? How do I release the sector as a little independent state again? Um, go to the planets and sectors tab. F seven is the shortcut, and then there's a manage sector button, and you can like you need we the untick auto expand sector in the top left. Otherwise, it will keep on doing what you do, and it's very annoying. Right, 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 right. And then, once oh, right, it's a sector now, and I guess I'll need to give it a leader first, or. Uh, I don't think so. Just go to the sectors tab again, and there should be a create vassal button there, I believe. Oh, okay. Capital. Uh, oh no. Create vassal. Must be up here. Okay. Oh my god, he spent quite a lot over there. That is the stupidest race I've ever seen pop out of nothing. Who has... Who gives natural intellectuals and proles to the same species? It just cancels each other out. <laughs> <laughs> that does not sound like it's a good plan. I just had a... Um, Astral Rift pop the species out, and it's... <laughs> So it's like yeah, ten percent extra sometimes. Ten percent extra food, ten percent extra habitability, and then five percent less research is what it uh, combines to with natural intellectuals and proles at the same time. Oh, I got a first contact just now. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Oh my god. Well, that's also why I don't explore with uh combat ships I'm like, okay i'm gonna explore situation log has been updated this place that i never got a chance to and i find the ether drake so there's like a couple oh, dozen oops. ships down the toilet oh god natural sanctuary should be next granted they're just corvettes but still you know yeah, sure. should be slightly annoyed, slightly bothersome um, Flanker, I was going to offer someone else association status. Um, they're the neighbors to my enemy in the south, so I thought it might be a nice friend to have. 
Yeah, so sounds good. We might have some raiders passing through our territory soon. Ooh, uh, if we combine forces, I'm sure we can beat them. Yeah. I'm up to uh, numbers, I think about 15k. They're attacking you, 5k specifically. Yes. All right. Um, I'm not seeing them yet, though. I just got the warning that they're coming. Yeah, I, I, I'll send all my ships to Seoul. The other Seoul. Yeah, I've got 12,000 fleet or so. Construction completed. And I am rapidly growing that. Nice. Yeah, I've, I've been a bit limited on uh, alloys, but I'm starting to turn that around. I'm still limited on alloys, but I thought I would... It's probably worth getting a fleet, because I don't think some of our neighbours are as friendly as others. No, um, we may have to do a, a preemptive uh, peacekeeping operation at one point. Hmm. Oh god, I don't think I want high consequence as uh, protection, because just so much less uh, naval capacity. We are being hailed. getting a bunch of subsidiary requests and they just keep clicking yes without actually looking at who they are or where they are. Am I getting greedy? Yes. Uh, not getting, um, so no. Uh, uh, Holland, that you have was Flanker's neighbour to the west and we had claims on them. And we've been fighting them the whole game. So that could be a problem. Right, Flanker is that one. And this is Cyber oh, Foundation. I, I had to fight them at the start of the game for the survival of my ah, yeah. my nation. Perfect. Otherwise, I was going to get torn in half. So I'm not entirely happy about that. And we might have to we might have to expand against them. Yes. War with everyone. They did. They are disloyal to me, the cheeky buggers, and they just broke our commercial pact. Well, if they're not giving you money, I mean, what use are they? That is indeed very cheeky. So, Holland, how did you get two completely separate territories? The one in the south. That's why I thought you were based in the south. Now realize that you also got a territory. That's uh, I went through a space tunnel to get there. Okay. But I am based uh, next to flanker. Right. The Anorixian Empire can be associates, so they're friendly with our little federation. 
Also, they are my subsidiary, it seems. We have encountered spaceborne life forms. Wait, who did you, who did you just subjugate? Knowledge is the key to the south. universe. I wasn't going to do it because they're, they're off the while back, but I didn't want oh, to block Holland off because that's where I thought his main uh, area was. As long as they stop bothering me. I well, guess. I mean, yeah, I'm not bothered about it now because you've blocked us off in the west, so. It's no longer a consideration. You hold that random button clicking without any consideration uh, much better than I would, Dev. Sorry, <laughs> Heaven? Uh, the random button clicking, blocking you off. You hold it a lot much better than I would. <laughs> uh, what do you mean, sorry? Just uh, uh, holding your politeness against the random button clicking, blocking you All off. Alright, well, yeah, I think you should always read someone's. <laughs> You should always read before accepting a subjugation request. Yeah, it can cause issues. One thing I don't like about these games is how we end up with the whole map basically covered in subjects, subsidiaries. Uh, it's, yeah. It's especially problematic where we have some players who are like really gaming it hard and going for the win and others who are just role playing and you know having fun and they end up being boxed in by all their neighbors uh, being vassalized by some dude on the other side of the galaxy you know, and then that means they can't expand and they're just sort of sitting out for the rest of the game well that's when you tell the other person to unvassalize the to the universe and require the other person to actually respond to such requests. Yeah. If someone doesn't, then perhaps they should be playing with it. There's always time for diplomacy. I need diplomacy. I can see that Super Earth is indeed Council loading its diplomacy available. rockets at the moment. Why need diplomacy when you can just think before button press? So, uh, Flanker, I take it those raiders haven't showed up yet. I don't see them. Research concluded. No, I got the tear vats ready and they haven't arrived as far as I can ascertain. Sorry, that took me a moment. Uh.
Oh, that's a dragon. Huh. A tune with the planes we will find you? That's mysterious. Wait a minute. Oh god, another official died. You should stop their salary for that. Definitely. Flying car, I knew you were heartless, but wow. Take 77 months to breach the shroud, do you? Look, if you die in the upright position, that's just trying to commit fraud against the greater church. Yep, 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 yep. That makes you a sinner. I'd say they could die at home in their bed, but that would require them to have any time to get home. Or to have a bed. Or a home. They own nothing and they're happy. You either throw yourself in the compost heap at moment of death for the cash crops, or you are not contributing with your remains to the economy. The Pope is very clear about that. Not contacts, contact, there it is. Sewer Corp, what do you guys sell? Farts. Perfect. <laughs> they sell farts? Exotic gases. Oh. Okay. That's... That's funny. You know. I mean, that, that would uh, fall under the Nomarker exotic gas, wouldn't it? Yes, suppose it would. Blocker cleared. Uh, they do have a salary oz, however, they, there's a 100% tithe to the church. Praise be the economy, the money Blocker must flow. Cleared. Oh, that looks awesome. Whoever's playing in the Flans D&D campaign, I've just seen one of the daily newspapers that's been put together. <laughs> looks great. <laughs> nice. I think that's only me right now. Enemy uh, Megacorp, uh, where are they? Spawn a planet, I think. Unless. Oh, okay. oh crap, I forgot to plug back in. Oh, the. Uh, you, you, the, um, Voltum? I've made the Voltum already. Wow, I see how it is. Of course you did, Ryan. I made that last session. At the, uh, I made it at the end of last session, remember? Yeah. Okay, nothing. It's okay, Voltum is stupid. I mean, if you can come over to the Voltum, uh, system, you can, you can no, get everything but the, the... Absorbers are between you and me. I wish. Is us. this guy gonna finish his war? Jeez. No. Oh no. They're moving. My laptop battery was down to five percent there. Oh, that's you were lucky. That, that's yeah, I only noticed because the screen suddenly dimmed. <laughs> I, uh, uh for, for my Mac that can't really go without being plugged in, I actually have it up to full brightness specifically for the the increased brightness change when it, it, it has to dim.
things are going well. Except for my empire size. It really needs to calm down. We are being hailed. I think I'm finally going to take technological ascendancy. Because better late than never, right? Yep. What the heck are the Lippians? <laughs> uh, it really is a recurring question, isn't it? It really is, yeah. I've found them. No more commerce with super... The Lippians are, uh, are desperate to become my vassal, apparently. I've... <laughs> Unfortunately, I was busy um, vacuuming the lawn, so didn't see their pleas. Well, you know, Mr. Economy, if you uh, perhaps cleared out your subsidiary that you didn't even pay attention to the fine print of, you'd get uh, Commerce with Super Earth, which is a better option. Imagine all of that missed money. We have detected hostiles. Someone that oh, fleet detected. Say, pay you money. Hostile fleet is at Atmir, uh, moving we are being hailed. all fleets now. How are you guys fighting? They're going to push my star base at uh, Ikki and Daft if you're available. Good talk. Darth may be AFK. Spaceport yep. under fire. That's my. I find you sorry. We have lost a again, mining so station. I, I did hear you have some of my ships. Oh, oh thank you, sir. Are they good? all my ships going to Sebel Rye and then I'll push in. It might Council actually be worth ready. going through Pfizer's spaces. Of, oh, no, I see them. This is the problem. They're, I see them on the map, but they're yellow, they're not red on my screen, so that means I can't actually fight them, right? And that's so stupid, so even though we're Federation allies, I can't help you fight these guys. Yeah, I'll send my fleet anyway, just in case something happens, but um, it's looking like I can't actually take part in the fight. Which seems a bit dumb. He is somewhat less than ideal. Construction completed. Construction completed. Oh, whoops. It's a fairly major part of my trade there. Um, Construction completed. Um, Kobo, I don't know if you have stealth detection, but there's some science ships near that uh, wormhole that connects to the isolated fanatic purifiers mm -hmm. from AI factions that could open the wormhole. 
I do not on that particular thing. Uh, because I only had basic upgrades at the time. Okay, I've got my second, uh, mercenary on plate now. And I also took Lords of War. So that I could. I don't see any particularly going towards the wormhole. Oh my god. They declared on the absorbers? But they have no feet power. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. You're gonna die. Preventative war. We are being hailed. Robotic uprising. Mm -hmm. native uh, friends have some issues. We are being hailed. Well, Tolmat's Empire is just carrying this team. Okay, so, uh... Plus, at some point, I might accidentally take Bernard Star. Okay. Because you have left it open, and a Tianki might hit, might get there. Uh, I think that yeah. would be fun. Well, we haven't had one, had something like that happen in quite a while now. An alien nation is hailing us. Uh, I don't mind if it does happen. <laughs> Cool. Oh, crap. Knowledge is the key to the universe. The must perch Baldoon of soulless machines. Oh, okay, Flagger, I... Found that I can right click on the fleet to attack it, so I could, could go hostile to him. Although they seem to have left the system. They have just left with all my people. Oh, damn it. I only just realized that. Oh well. Never mind, you win some, you lose some. It'd be nice to at least win some. Thank you. 
I would prefer these guys as a subsidiary. I cannot abide with soulless machines in my space. We are being hailed. Just have to eradicate this one system uh, machine menace. Oh, hello, soul system. It's a heads on half hour warning. Wow. Construction completed. you leave uh, Bitrius uh, open on purpose uh, Russ um yeah like it's not really a system that has any use for me although I did get an event that gave it plus 10 and en uh, engineering research so it's kind of tempting pretty good but there is a pre FTL in there that you can spy on yeah I guess I'll take it why not Blocker cleared. Well, right after this, I'm going to need to get food because I'm hungry. And I forgot to have lunch. Situation log has been updated. Well, don't forget to make her up for the rest of the stream. How big are the raiding fleet fleets? Uh, one that raided me was like 17k. Uh, the one that raided me was 24, 25. Oh dear God! As a, a result of trying to do that whole puppet thing. I've ended up with lithoids on my main planet, 
So yeah. they're going to be occupying the population growth spot for another 328 months. Oof. And that's with it half done. You could pick something else to grow there. I don't have population thingy allowed, but I may have to allow it just to get rid of the um, stupid lithoid peoples. Human United Stars has entered. Yeah, War of the, the anorexia Empire. Empire. I have the ability to colonize a planet that is next to the um, the Xenophobe Fallen Empire. Whoa! What the hell is this? Some sort of rebellion that they're facing? Yeah. Human United Stars? Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. This must. This must be Quelt. Is it the Human United Stars that you're seeing? Yes. Huh. Cool. We've already seen from one faction of humans that they do not appreciate economy enough. Which means that 50% of our known humans are I think silly. I think they appreciate... 33%. I think they appreciate economy plenty until economy got in the way of where they were going. Desk, desk. Wherever, wherever money goes, we go. Well, the money left because you went somewhere without reading the fine print. Which you'd figure the economy would read the fine print in order to make sure they didn't get a bad deal. You know, it sounds like very poorly run economy to me. We are being hailed. Terima Bostinak. One of my habitats is getting plus 10 growth just from immigration. Plus 10? Yeah. Nice. That's so what I'm Yeah, I didn't know that was even remotely possible. I'm getting plus 16 and a half a month. I've never seen it that special high. project has concluded. Plus 10 is the maximum that you can get from immigration. Blocker cleared. Mm -hmm. 
The special project has concluded. Research concluded. By the way, Brian, if you're listening, uh, you may be interested to know, um, remember when you very kindly gave me yep. a planet that you'd colonized using your special abilities? Yep. Uh, there's now 51 pops of your species in my empire. Cool. I'd like to know. They seem to be breeding very fast. Yeah, they are invasive after all. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of cool. If, um, Helping my economy, I suppose. I'm glad. They're still chilling out on that um, ocean planet that you colonized. Is, um, that makes sense. Kind of like a food producing planet. Research concluded. Galactic Council is pretty high up. If you guys want to uh, get it up, get it all the way up there. Doesn't really benefit most of us though at this point. Uh, yeah, yeah I was yeah. just thinking, what if we didn't have a Galactic Council for once? Ooh, I'm actually in the running for the construction completed. Although, I mean, Ryan only mentioned it because he'd be on the top spot, top spot. of the council. Mm -hmm. and, 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 I, and I want to emergency measure uh, Tianqi preservation. That, that's literally the only reason I'm, I'm mentioning it. I will not let the ABC's power. Yeah, Church of the Economy is the fourth, and honestly, they should be weaker than that. Um, the the up next is the uh, Mercenary Enclave thing, which gives us minus twenty five percent naval capacity. We should probably vote that down. Um. I don't think that's a glue. Oh no, you're right. I scrolled down and it is. Yeah, that's. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, I am opposing that. Hey, try to work his rights. how the Tanyaki Conservation Act wasn't even originally put forward by the preservers. No, it wasn't. It was put it was put forward by my vassal. They are good vassals. We are being oh, hailed. Sorry. Clearly that just means you had them do it for you so that way people wouldn't just assume it would be you. So, my fingers aren't good at typing destroyer. So I just had to type it in twice to chat GPT. Okay, what did the secret of the Voltum get me? Oh, uh, okay, that's pretty nice. Council agenda available. In the value them. Very generous of you, sir. Oh, yeah, I, I have um, a surplus uh, of energy at the moment, so I thought I would share it with you. Is that what happens when you uh, mix Raider's Tears with an energy drink? Um, yeah. Construction completed. 
a Sounds surplus of energy, but money must flow. You're being very heretical right now. I'm, I'm open to uh, restoring our, our trade relations. If, uh, you would no longer ally yourself with the, the evil Cyval Foundation. You have been a threat to me and Flanco for the whole game. I don't think they have independent diplomacy anymore. We are being hailed. Yeah, that's kind of the problem. We want to make them even less independent. Uh... Yeah, then their expansion is regulated. It will be shortly. They don't want them to be to have a. They don't want a independent domestic affairs. Okay. They want they, they want their domestic affairs dependent entirely on them. On, on um, you, you, you and It's not that we hold a grudge for a long time or swore vengeance against them in the uh, the first Savali wars, but um. It, well, it is. It's that. It, yeah, basically, they invade me and uh, almost took half of my planets in the old game, and I never got my chance for revenge. And Super Earth also tried to turn them into fuel, and they were very inefficient, which is just rude. I think you'll agree. Yeah, man, we, we want to bring managed independence to them. Indeed. Otherwise known as knowledge uh, stop is the key them to the universe. Subsidiary, so that way they can declare war on them. God dang it, Holland! <laughs> I thought we were quite subtle in that regard. How do you understand the red storage capacity? You need to phrase it in the form of an uh, economical transaction. Uh. uh Stop okay. having them as their subsidiary and they'll continue trading with you. <laughs> Simple. Too vague. Make me Okay, over. there you go. That was less vague. <laughs> okay, it really wants me to have robotic workers even though robotic workers are... <laughs> Oh wait, no, I think no, they were supposed to be outlawed. Whoops. Okay, maybe now it, it will never give me that. They're never building robots, I'm building, building pops. So heads up, 15 minute warning. Research concluded. Robot uprising. We're getting so many of those. People need to control their bots. If you're gonna build yeah. them, control them. Yeah, that's why I built none at all. You built robot nuns? Sorry, since we recalled our our uh, ambassador, the uh, messages coming through haven't been as clear. Yeah, you have now uh, have off-brand communication devices, which are mm. subpar.
We have encountered spaceborne life forms. Upgrades and now we fight. I don't know if I'm gonna win this though. I have so many bonuses. Wow, just fully explored an astral Research rift and it's concluded. incredibly disappointing. Yep, I'm on my fourth one now. It's, they have been a bit nerf. On the plus side, though, it like tripled my astral thread storage. So, and unlocked about seven options in the astral actions. Nice. The first of which I'm going to do is the one that gives me another astral rift. Seems a completely reasonable approach. That's... Construction completed. Wait a gosh darn minute. An alien nation is hailing us. Temple of Transportation? What the heck? No, the Bashari absorbers? What? How the Pashari absorbers take all that? Uh huh. Um. Because they're actively fighting the person that you specifically said they're going to lose? Yeah. It's okay, I already know which parts of them that I want, which really isn't going to be that much. Like. A fourth of them at this current size. <laughs> Oh, the worrying. We'll go reason. get them. They're fanatic purifiers, so you just take their territory once you beat them. Yeah, but they're also superior to me, which I am actively fixing. Construction completed. You want to know what kind of ships they run? Uh. Wow, what the heck? What is. I'm also clearing out other problems in my land. Hey, let's, 
Uh, Super Earth is a successful and close ally. Blocker cleared. If there's multiple Earths in this game, it's a bit confusing. Only one of them super, though. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I bet Super Earth is so super <laughs> because uh, it has the lizard people actually ruling it. And uh, those lizard people are all otherwise known in their native con tongue as Shmeeple. Uh, ooh, interesting uh, conspiracy theory. <laughs> Can neither confirm nor deny. Uh, okay. So, Daft, when when you declare war on them, uh, do you think I should also declare war on them at the same time? Or should, or should we declare war together? Um, who are you talking about? Sorry, this is... No, not that. Hobo. Hobo. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, oh, no um, I don't know why I get the two of you confused. <laughs> we could. Uh, although the people to the north uh, are also taking territories that I wanted, so probably wait until their war is over to see who wins. Oh, absolutely. I, I, I need to... Uh, Research I'm actually still so devastated from that last war. I'm actually a little bit more worried if they manage to push all the way to, um... Ew, gross. Cybernetics. Um, push all the way into the Holy Kingdom. Because the Holy Kingdom does have the Artisan Troop in it. Which, uh... Oh! Well, yeah. I don't that know how... Annoying. I don't know how much people are investing into the Artisan Troop, but uh, it might die soon. Typing. We have encountered spaceborne life forms. A sense of pride and accomplishment. Oh, thank you. A church of economy, you're missing half of the systems that rebelled. You gotta go further north. Yeah, working on it. So I've got uh, the move orders already planned out. Shh, don't help him. Never it's kind of interrupting my border, so. 
Never interrupt your enemy when he's making a mistake. He's not my enemy. He's my ally. That's how I can see where his armies are. Yeah, but it's Holland. He's in everyone's enemy, even if he doesn't say it. What? Enemy? Don't be silly. We all use money. Unless you're a hive mind, I guess. Then you are the ultimate sinner. Wonder what the hive mind up here has to say about that. Oh, the Pashardi are insulting me. Oh, bureaucracy. My, my least favorite word in the English language. I thought it was anti-disestablishmentarianism. That That's one wrong. I can type! <laughs> it's not super hard to type that one. Bureaucracy has bowels in the weirdest places. Oh, well, in the weirdest orders, I suppose. Council agenda available. Bless you. Thank you. Allergic to economy. No, 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 no. Anybody else notice we've had zero stability issues? Ah, oh, you jinxed it. Well, it doesn't matter, there's two minutes left. Oh. Well, it's like the first time in forever. Uh, Although, we also had no, 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 no late like joiners, right? No hot joins. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, that's interesting. Nice. There we go. Imagine everyone joining once and then not having stability issues. It's almost like this has been a running theme for three or four years. The, the real reason there's not been any issues is because I planned to move back onto my PC when we had the first issues. Knowledge is the key <laughs> Since the world revolves the around me, that didn't mm. happen. That is fair, it does indeed revolve around you, as far as we can ascertain. Certainly doesn't revolve around the sun. That'd be silly. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Yeah, I Construction think completed. The Samoan consciousness has uh, got to be entirely eliminated. I just wonder what's well, going to happen to their vassal in the process. Well, you'll have to save that wandering for another week because it is time to switch over. So uh, the game is paused and being switched up. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good luck. Oh, have fun. Uh, for those wanting to join for uh, the golf, uh, that'll be up in just a few moments. In fact, uh, let's do that switch over now. Good evening. Evening. Back in an hour, or the other stuff. Sounds good. That, that Russ was so rude to host on a host the other game on a Wednesday when I'm not available. So this is my only option. <laughs> I mean, it, it really is. A, I appreciate being your only option. Um, <laughs> gee, thanks. <laughs> 
Uh, right. If anyone else is joining Golf with your friends, now would be a good time to uh, jump in and we'll be switching over to the stream in just a second. In the meantime, I'll uh, leave those watching the stream with some music for a moment just while everyone gets themselves into the lobby.